Yeah, hi there, this is uh, TuxOcho.com again. Welcome on my video channel. In the, to today's little video, we want to talk about a little tripod head. And that is the uh, little video fluid head from Small Rig with the, I guess it's an order number 3457, which I bought to have a very compact and light video head for my travel tripod so I can even take short video clips, pans and so on while I'm on tour with the smaller tripod. As you probably know, the uh, big tripods like Manfrotto or anything else have those big video heads with uh, I think it's 500 PL quick release plates and so on. And this one here is very compact. So I show it to here to you. So it even fits on my uh, Faisal travel tripod and I even can fold it together so it fits into the uh, bag. But then now we take it on regular usage like this one. And here you have got the uh, tripod head and as you can see here it's pretty compact. And uh, on the top you got, which is nah, quite unusual, a standard Aka Swiss plate, so I can mount the camera with a, a standard Aka Swiss plate or like I am used to with a L bracket on my camera. And here we got the handle. We pull that down like this. Screw it and fasten it. Now we have the handle which you can pull out in a telescope way so you have it easier to make a pan with the uh, video head. On top you got here attachment I think that's a, a quarter screw for a magic arm so you can attach a, like an external monitor or any additional equipment to the fluid head and uh, here you can release the plate on top so you can have a little bit of way to balance the combination of camera and tri uh, camera and lens, of course. So the uh, head doesn't have to work too hard to keep the uh, camera and lens combination in in the weight, and so you have a very smooth and uh, very smooth pan without any issues. Here you got the same with the uh, tilt. And you can tilt that uh, backwards uh, up to 60 degrees and here in the front side up to 90 degrees. It returns back sort of automatically as you can see here, which is due to the fact that that's a fluid head. But uh, of course you, da you don't have uh, the comparison to the bigger ones like the uh, Manfrotto 500 which I owned a while ago and a bigger one like that, but they issue you with a lot more weight on the uh, fluid head. And here you got a weight of a, around 510, 15 uh, grams, which it's uh, very lightweight and compact, even though the uh, small rig, like as I think most of the products from small rig are very well made. And that's the ideal combination for me if we are on tour and I only have this small uh, tripod with me, I can use it for stills photography and of course for shorter uh, video clips to make like uh, a small pans uh, across the landscape or so on. That's uh, quite good and this uh, fluid video I had is with the price of around 100 or 110 euros not expensive and way cheaper than the bigger ones from uh, Manfrotto and other manufacturers. So to me, with uh, this uh, combination, as you can see here in the field, uh, it carries, of course, my Lumix full frame camera and the kit lens. What I didn't try so far is uh, the combination of this uh, camera with, uh, with the uh, 70 to 300 millimeter telephoto lens. But so far I didn't have any usage for that, but I think with a little help it might even carry this weight. The uh, weight according to, or the payload according to the manufacturer 
is uh, five uh, kilograms which i think is a little bit too much for that uh, small video head but uh, if you take like two and a half or three kilograms as a payload as an estimation you might be on the good side so to me that is the ideal combination for taking short video clips while i'm on tour and even use it as for stills photography it's lightweight it's compact it's very robust i think and it has a price tag of around 100 euros which is not too much for a fluid head of course you can't expect the same stability and smoothness from this uh, uh, fluid head like uh, from you would expect from other ones but it's good enough for shorter video clips as i said before okay if you have any questions to this you might as well place them in the comments or in the comments of the uh, corresponding blog post and if this video was a little bit helpful to you you might think about placing a like on the video and i surely would appreciate it if you subscribe my channel but then don't forget to hit the bell so you get a notification every time i upload a new video okay that was my little review on the small fluid head from small rig and all i have to say is till the next time ciao tux oche